Hi. Hi, guys. Okay, well, first of all, thank you to uh, the, the artist's drawings that we've gotten. And if you're still working on yours, it's not too late. In fact, we decided I checked with the pastor out in Pennsylvania, and we've got a little more time. So if you get in the mail by Tuesday, then we should have it by Thursday, and we could mail it then. So it's not too late. And yep. Please do that. That'll be fun. And we talked with the Synod, with that little good news ministry that they're doing mm -hmm. and I said oh this is a cool thing we're doing that might be fun and I think they're going to try to do a little story on it so you nice. can be in that story as well the other thing though that we've got is this uh, Jesus storybook bible and probably a lot of you got one of those in the mail recently and it was just sort of like a kind of an I miss you care package that we wanted to send to everybody and also something that in addition to this sermon each week, we'll do one of these in the middle of the week, the story time, and we can all read it together, and that'll be a lot of fun, and we'll kind of get to feel like we're close to each other. So um, so there's that. And I wanted to say, if you didn't get one, if somehow it slipped through the cracks or something, just have whoever, grandma, grandpa, aunt, and uncle, mom, dad, whoever it is, um, send us a message and say, hey, we didn't get our copy of the Bible, and we'll get it over to you right away. Yep. Okay. So the one we're going to do today goes with the scripture that we're doing today, mm -hmm. and it's called Good Shepherd Sunday. Yeah, I love Good Shepherd Sunday. Yeah, you've got a shepherd, Jesus Shepherd picture that you love. I do. Why don't you run and go and get it quick, and I'll yeah. stall for a little bit. Yeah. So um, while she's doing that, and bandits being difficult, while she's doing that in your Bible, uh, in your Jesus Storybook Bible, you can start finding page 130, 130, 130. And um, if you need help finding that, just ask, you know, whoever it is there, the adult there with you to help find it. And we're going to read along together. But Amanda has her picture. Yeah, so this was actually a brochure um, that came from my home church, and it's from Lutheran Social Services of Illinois, actually. But I love the illustration. I love that Jesus has the little lamb on his shoulders and the colors. And so I've just always kept it. So yeah. Yeah. in our neck of the woods, we have Lutheran services in Iowa. And you all know we've got a nice close connection with them. OK, well, um, that's almost three minutes already. So let's Amanda's going to read the story. And just as we start, hopefully you've got the page open. And there's what you know, what do you see when you look at the page? Yeah, so take a look at it and figure out what it is that, that you see. Do you see what colors do you see? What people? What animals? So, yeah. Um, yeah. I see some sheep. I and see a, a very fancy dressed man playing an instrument of some sort. Yeah, he's got a crown on his yeah. head. That's King David. He's famous for um, being a musician as well. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. David was a shepherd, but when God looked at him, he saw a king. Sure enough, when David grew up, that's just what he became. And David was a great king. He had a heart like God's heart, full of love. Now, that didn't mean he was perfect, because he did some terrible things. He even murdered a man. No, David made a big mess of his life. But God can take even the biggest mess and make it work to God's plan. I need a new heart, Lord, David prayed. Because mine is full of sin, make me clean inside. God heard David's prayer. He forgave David, and he made David a promise. I will make you great, David. And one day, a king will be born into your family, and he will heal the world. What kind of a king do you suppose that is? Ooh, Jesus king? Yeah. yeah. Did you know that David was a songwriter too? In fact, his songs were so good they might have been in the top 40 charts. You know, like Justin Bieber. Oh, the Biebs. Yeah. If they uh, had been invented. Yeah, there was no top 40 back then. No. So, David's songs are like prayers. They are called psalms, and this one is called the Song of the Shepherd. It's probably at number one on the psalm charts, and it goes like this. So this is going to be based on Psalm 23, um, and that's the scripture that Tanya read in our service. And then for parents, if you're reading or whoever is reading um, at the top of the page, it's got 
the passages of Scripture. So it's not just Psalm 23 that's part of this, Psalm 51 and 2 Samuel 7. And so um, as I read these, I think, oh, that's really interesting. And so it tells you where in the Bible to yeah. find more about it. Okay. All right, so turn the page, and we're now on 132. A little paraphrase of Psalm 23. Yeah, and it's a nice green pasture, yeah. and looks like there's some different colored sheep, and it looks like they're hanging out and eating and enjoying yeah. the day. So here we go. God is my shepherd, and I am his little lamb. He feeds me, he guides me, he looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside, my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying still in soft green grass, in a meadow by a little stream. Even when I walk through the dark, scary, lonely places, I won't be afraid, because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me. He keeps me safe. He rescues me. He makes me strong and brave. He's getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me, everything I've ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness, I can't hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever. Love will go to. It's a nice little... Yeah. Especially right now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And on this page, there's the little lamby yep. at the top. And on the next page, we've got the king again. Yep. God gave David that song to sing to his people so they could know that he loved them and would always look after them like a shepherd loves his sheep. And one day, God was going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs. God was going to show God's people once and for all just how much God loved them. Another shepherd was coming, a greater shepherd. He would be called the Good Shepherd, and this shepherd was going to lead all of God's lambs back to the place where they had always belonged, close to God's heart. Yeah. And that's where you belong, and if whoever's reading the book with you, where they belong to, where we belong, where all God's people belong, well, one of the things, so, um, so there's that. And, you know, the other thing is now um, what you could probably do is look through here at the front in the table of contents, and there's no page number to that, but it's got the different stories, and maybe you could find some ones that you would like to do yeah. and um, get a hold of us, and those can be the ones that we start working our way through. And it also talked about the, the song, you know, Psalm 23 and the popular mm -hmm. songs. And so a couple of weeks ago, I think it was like one of our first ones, you came up with the Jesus Parade chants, yeah. and that was fun. And I think we'll um, put one of those at the end. Um, Sawyer's one I think we'll try to do. And um, But you could try to make up one of those um, on your own. You could share that, and that'd be fun. Or just do it for the fun of it. I thought of one. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's like um, it goes, Shepherd shepherd and then you are going like shepherd really high while i'm saying that uh -huh. so let's try it. Okay. like shepherd shepherd, shepherd shepherd that's all i've got so far but i think it's a really good start yeah real good thanks so you can come up with yours too or just do something fun like that uh or find psalm 23 in the bible and just mm -hmm. um, write down make a little bookmark out of it whatever yeah. you want to do so we miss you hope to see you soon and i think that's kind of in the works so we'll see Yep. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Jesus, Jesus, I love you.